Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can remotely connect to a Linux Mint device using SSH. Now, the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to we'll need to make sure that SSH is enabled and also that it's running. I'm opening the terminal on this uh, Linux Mint machine. And to check the status of uh, SSH services, we'll use uh, system CTL status SSH. And as you can see, it's active, running, and it's also enabled. Now, it should be enabled by default, but if it's not enabled or if it's not running, you can enable it. Let's go ahead and stop the services and then re-enable the services. So the command is system CTL. We'll say stop SSH and put in our password. Now, if we re rerun the command to check the status, you'll see that it's inactive or dead, but it's still enabled. So, to enable it, the command is going to be similar system CTL enable SSH, but it's enabled, so we don't have to go through that process. So let's go ahead and start the services. We can use sudo system ctl start ssh put in our password. Uh, let's check the status. And now it's active and running. Once we verify that it's active, running, and enabled, we can check. We'll need to check the IP address on this machine and make sure that it's reachable before we can try to SSH into it. So let me clear this. And in order to check the IP address, we'll do IP address. So this is the IP address right here, 172.16.1.102. I'm gonna open a command prompt on the machine that I'm gonna be using to do the remote connection. And let's see if we can ping this IP. So do ping 172.16.1.102 and I'm able to ping it. So you can move that to the side. Now in order to SSH to this machine, you'll need um, either an SSH tool like Party or Secure CRT to do the connection. You can also use a command prompt or you can use like PowerShell and Windows. Now I have party open here. In order to use party, you just put in the IP address here under host name, 172.16.1.102. The port is 22 for SSH, and you just click open. You should get this pop-up window right here. Just put in your the username and the password, and we are remoted into the machine. Another way, like I said, you can use command prompt or PowerShell. So let's use this. So we'll just need to run the command SSH, then you need to put in the username at then the IP address. One or two. And then you'll be prompted for the password. And you'll be able to SSH into the machine. And, and we're able to remote into the Linux Mint machine from our, our Windows machine. So that's all for this video. That's how you can access your Linux Mint machine remotely using SSH. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.